to wake up this morning. So I woke up this morning and I saw that Reiji posted this image on Twitter. At first I thought to myself, there, there has to be a mistake, right? I click on it and then I see it. It's one of those moments where the, the closest thing I can remember to something like this is when people leak chapter 218 and I thought to myself, this has to be a mistake. I click on it, it's real. With that said, this image is AI generated, if you guys can't tell. And Reggie said, I recently started getting interested in AI, so I made it learn only my drawings and create an illustration of so on. Cute. Uh, so on is uh, Mizuhara, I believe, because for some reason they can't translate it correctly. Uh, now, as you can tell, this has 103 million views. And it doesn't show you the quote retweets, but there's like 800 quote retweets. And you can guess what it is. If you are like someone who follows this series, and by follows, I mean you're here for the fucking drama and the controversy, you know exactly what this is. Pretty much uh, people are using this as a Chekhov's gun, and they're like, ha ha, see, this is your, this is your manga cub. Hi, future me here, way later. As you'll notice, my mustache is gone. It was kind of annoying, so I shaved it. Um, with that said, I'm going to be interjecting a few times throughout this video because I recorded this when I was very tired in the morning, and I didn't say my thoughts in a very organized manner. With that said, one of the things I really want to start with is, simply put, the way people reacted and treated this author for this action is fucking disgusting, and you know it's not because he used AI, it's because it's specifically Reiji Miyajime, the author who writes Rent a Girlfriend. Not because he used AI, because a lot of other artists who are famous, such as Oda, the writer of One Piece, as well as the Gantz author, have used AI before, and while people were mad, they didn't give them the same amount of shit. No, 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 and here, this turned into a witch hunt. This is a very common thing within the anime community to attack Rent a Girlfriend, to attack the author, to attack this story, and this is gonna be somewhat my focus in this, and to break down the stupidity of their argument, and what I do not like about what they are saying about this story. One of the first things I started with when we were talking about this is how Reiji used his own art. He used specifically his own art to make this. Now, people will make the argument there's no AI software that does this because all of them are deeply connected to the internet. No, I actually did a little bit of research. Yes, you can train an AI to only use your art, to not use other people's art. And while this image does look somewhat similar to other pieces of art, this actually doesn't look that different from Reiji's art to some degree. It's still shit. Don't get me wrong. Like here, I can point out some issues right away. Uh, there's issues with the earrings right here. The earring, this earring is like in front. This earring is wrong. The way her face is drawn makes it look more generic and flat. It doesn't actually use any of his shading properly. Uh, here, it tries to mimic Reiji's shading with how he shades shirts, but it doesn't use the line work, so it just looks off and weird. Here, her hair color blends in with the shirt. Here, and the more you look at the image, the more awkward and weird it looks, right? So it's clearly not the same as his art. It's not. And Reiji knows this. But the thing that everybody's ignoring here is that he used his own art. What Reiji did here is literally circumvent the argument that people often use against AI, which is that AI steals. No, 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 no. AI doesn't steal. People steal. People are the ones who are using AI to steal. People are the ones who created the AI formula to steal from people online. That's not what Reiji is doing, and everybody's ignoring that. And I'm not excusing AI before you, guys, before you guys start jumping on my throat. That's not what's happening. However, I wanted to point out something very interesting. How people dealt with this when Oda did it is very different with how people dealt with it when Reiji did it. People are, like, jumping down Reiji's throat, dogpiling on him, but when you go to Oda, they get mad, sure, but they let it go because he's the GOAT. Compare that with how Oda has used it, where Oda has actually used it to promote things. He wrote a song and promoted it on the official Twitter account for One Piece. It's constant double standards, and you'll see this all over Twitter, where people will say AI art is bad, two seconds later it'll draw something they like, change their minds. I did like uh, some of these comments down below, specifically the Japanese comments, and there were some English comments too, who were trying to actually communicate with him. They were telling him, it's like, hey, no, this isn't like how this works. They're actually trying to talk to him, and thank you. Like seriously, people, when someone makes a fucking mistake, try to talk to them, don't 
fucking like attack them, right? There's a huge difference, especially with a creator like this, where uh, pretty much a lot of the people who are against Rent a Girlfriend, who are against this author, have pretty much fabricated this in their mind. Like, I, and I say this with full awareness that big creators talk about this series and shit on it constantly. But the way they treat this series and the way they treat this author is terrible. Like, there's no excuse about it. If you go to watch any Rent a Girlfriend video, even if you agree with that criticism, it doesn't change the fact that the way they're acting is awful and terrible, and it completely makes sense why this author does not want to interact with you. So you don't get to be an asshole and also be to get to be friends with this person. You can't have your cake and eat it too. And the issue is, another factor to this is a lot of these mangakas are, like, they're artists, right? They're artists, they're creatives, and yes, uh, you think to yourself, well, if you're an artist, you're a creative, you don't want something that that generates things that's not art that's not creativity however it can inspire creativity in seeing how something else makes it right that is a factor in this i'm not excusing it just, just i know people are ready to jump down my throat this is a really controversial topic another factor is everybody has different interpretations about ai art and the issue is is it's not regulated that's the problem is like there's people who probably want to explore it but it's not regulated so they don't because they know these companies are using them and they're trying to steal from them now let's get into other details that other people people are not addressing. There are other creators that have used AI. For example, Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse used AI. Yes, it was AI. It was a tool they used so it would implement line work. That's still generative AI. It is still making something based on what they told it to make. The only difference is this is making a picture out of something Reiji used. He's not saying he's gonna put this in the manga. And two, he's not advocating for a the bad shit in AI. He's just making a fun curiosity experiment. Reiji's literally just having fun. And the internet turned this into a witch hunt. Please take that in for a second. He just put his own art, and even if the thing possibly used other people's art and not just his art even if that was what happened here that was not his intention if you go into the quote retweets people are literally wishing him the worst possible things they are just turning this into slander harassment and attacking him and they will excuse it oh but the manga is bad he's a terrible human being when he's literally done nothing only reason they do this is because they make the argument that in the manga reiji does things they don't like because this manga tackles a lot of controversial topics that people do not want to address and talk about, such as uncomfortable topics like sex, such as uncomfortable topics like dating and relationships. People walk into this manga with a very, very tinted lens. You cannot get into this manga without somebody in the anime and manga community telling you it's trash and pretty much all the content creators, what they'll do is they'll just take this and they'll farm it. They'll, they'll use it a cake. They're grifters. They simply put, they're grifters. This is what they do. If you're wondering why I'm so pissed off and why I'm defending this so much, it's not because I like AI. No, 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 no. I, AI stealing and AI doing all the terrible shit that we're seeing in media and all these companies using AI to farm their bullshit and, and just get rid of jobs? That can get the fuck out of here. Corporations and these stupid tech bros who are just using AI to uh, fucking steal jobs and get rid of jobs for convenience sake, those people can fuck right off. But AI is a tool. And even famous artists such as Naoki Urasawa, the person who wrote Pluto, 20th Century Boys, and Monster literally said he would use AI. It is a tool. If he is doing something big and that is not easy to do, he would use AI. It is still generative AI. It is something you still have to teach and it is still something that is creating something he would use it. And this is a conversation he was having with Mai Yuniyama, the person who is responsible for a lot of the animations in Kill la Kill, Promere, Kiznaiver, and the recent cyberpunk edgerunners, and they both agreed they would use AI. The issue I'm having here, the reason I'm genuinely frustrated, I pulled my fucking jacket, the reason I'm genuinely frustrated here is because in many ways that's kind of what Reiji is doing. He's just using a tool, he's not promoting the bad shit in AI, he's not even breaking ethical rules he's literally trying not to this dude has friends in the industry that he is in he has mangaka friends he has animation friends kana hiriyama the character designers for rent a girlfriend is a really close friend with this person and he literally appreciates her for her work on the anime and yet this is treated like he just committed a war crime. Why is this author being treated so differently for making an AI animation for fun 
and not even profit. He's not making any money off of this. He's not even saying he's going to put it in the manga in like nothing like that. At best, I could see this being a fucking joke in the manga. Dude, he literally put a joke where Kazuya was reading chat GBT and just to just to get ideas. And it's his art. He can do whatever the fuck he wants with it. It's his choice. Why are you telling him how to use his fucking art? It's none of your fucking business. This dude loves the creation process and people are willfully ignoring that. And while you have the right to say, maybe criticize it, be like, hey, maybe there's some issues with this. Like maybe you sharing AI art is promoting things. That's fine. That's not what people are doing. That is not what the Western manga and anime community are doing. That's not what you guys are doing. You're attacking him. There's a huge difference. You people gang up on this person because he is an easy farm. You know rent a girlfriend is controversial and you know controversy and drama sells and this is why you are making content about this. Not because he put AI art, but because the rent a girlfriend author who is known for doing wacky shit that we have demonized within the anime community is a good target and will give me a lot of views. And guess what? I bet you right now, if you go to the quote retweets, you'll see a bunch of big accounts doing this exact thing. Don't believe me? Here, let's go and check them out. This person right here, 20K. Uh, this dude loves to shit on rent a girlfriend. This person, 33K, 13.8K. And literally all of them are doing the same thing. 59.9K. And let me tell you something. None of these people actually genuinely follow the series or try to interact it with it in with an honest way. They don't. No, 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 no. Every time there's something weird or something uncomfortable or something you can take out of context and turn it into the worst thing it can be, this is what these people are here for. And if you guys disagree with me, you're welcome to go watch my videos and see how I talk about this series, how I try to break it down, explore this series actually has a lot more to say and is actually really well written and people just willfully choose to ignore that and see it how they want to see it. None of the smart people come into the series with an honest mindset because they have been conditioned by the other big people in the industry, the other influencers, that it's bad. So not many actually smart people interact with this series, and the supposed smart people are, are so irony drowned, they can't look at it with an honest way. So you have that initial bias coming in just from that fact alone. So when the author does something that you have already correlated to something bad because AI, because of the companies, because of the, how people are using it, because of its negative stigma is an easy way to say that, hey, look, this author who already has a negative stigma, we're going to add another negative stigma to it. He's a horrible human being because he did this thing. And of course, everybody's just going to call it trash and just keep piling onto the series. So I hope now you can understand why I'm a little pissed off and why I can't fucking stand the anime community. Because when Oda does this, none of you are saying he the man walked into your house and milked your cow. But with this guy, oh no, no, no. Can you understand where I'm coming from? I hope I'm able to convey to you why I'm frustrated, why I'm mad because of this massive double standard and hypocrisy that this author gets treated with just because he makes something that initially bothers you. Oreji has created a work formula that's healthy for him and allows him the freedom to do what he wants to do. And we should celebrate that instead of putting it down. Now, I'm not saying we should celebrate this, okay? I just need to highlight the importance of why Reiji is a healthy mangaka and that rather than putting him down, we should communicate with him and in fact celebrate what he's doing well. I think what Reiji has done is he thinks he only used his art. He thinks he only used his art to make this. That's why he said only my art, right? And and here, let's use a different translation. I think I used Deep L. Let's, yeah. I started, I recently started being interested in AI, so I made an illustration of Mizar by having it learn only my pictures. The only is always co conveyed here. He probably thinks I'm not stealing. And I just want to address this really quick. I also realized I'm wearing a white shirt and I know a lot of apologists do this when they wear a fucking white shirt. Like they'd be like, hey guys, I'm not your enemy. This was not intentional. Please understand this was not intentional. I just I just saw myself in my camera because like my camera's right here on the screen. I saw myself, I'm like, oh no, <laughs> oh, shit. But naturally because he's in a position of uh, influence, there we go, influence, a position of influence, people will be like, oh, See, like, uh, he's promoting AI, so AI is good, so we should go check out AI. That's the, probably the mentality people have, and that's why they want to put him down so quickly. I hate that people are so mean to this author. They're so quick to jump down his throat whenever he makes a mistake. He's just trying to have fun, dude. Unfortunately, what's going to happen here is nobody's going to acknowledge all the work he's done prior to this, all the art he's done prior to this, all the other artists he's inspired because of his art, right? 
Like, we know this isn't as good as his art. But the thing is, because the series has so much shit against it, what's gonna happen here is instead of appreciating all the work he's done, all people are gonna see is terrible mangaka, he's appealing terrible shit. It's bias that we pretend doesn't exist. It's always like this. It's literally always like this. It's bias we pretend does not exist when it's clearly there. And again, I will use Oda as an example because yes, y'all will praise Oda to heaven and back, but because this author does something you don't like, you will put him down as hard as possible and you will constantly be on his case because you have to vindicate yourself. You have to, he's, he's a good source of people giving you likes and, and, and retweets and all of that nonsense. That's why you're following him. You're not following him because you like his work. You're following him because he gives you good uh, karma points. And yeah, that's my end line here. I think Ray's just trying to have fun with this. He thinks he only put his own pictures and nothing else. Whether that's true or not, I'm not sure. With that said, uh, I've been Fate. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And now I'm going to go check out chapter 323 of Rent-A-Girlfriend because that came out right at the same time as this. <laughs> so remember, let's posey.